Hello everybody and welcome back to Delhi. And we are finally up and moving. We are working towards the achievement Emperor of Hindustan, which <laughs> is going to require quite a lot of land. Basically, we're going to be conquering India as Delhi. It'd actually be kind of interesting to go Hindu, but I think thematically, you know, we, we form Hindustan, we stay Sunni. That'll all be, uh, that'll all be okay. This is the one thing that we're really going to have to, like, wrestle with here. Like, our, uh, religious unity... Whoa. 95%? Provinces, 75%. How do you figure? How do you figure? I guess because we got more tolerance of heathens? Might be because the tolerance of heathens went up. You know what? I don't know. We're probably going to end up thinking about going humanist, not doing too much converting going on. And we might end up converting, but it might be like a later game effort. We're going to convert some provinces as we can. I think we are going to squeeze in here, give this to the Jains. We're debating this. The thing is, this is a very rich province. And... Um, while this is going to prevent us from... Well, what does this really do for us, actually? Yeah, it removes the local autonomy. The autonomy is already going down to zero in time, automatically, you know, by itself. What, is this, what does this actually do for us? It makes, it gives the Jains some, um, some influence, which actually would be good, so we can start hitting some of these buttons. That, that's our justification for this, but we don't need to give them too much. There we go. We gave them a little bit of influence here. We could come over here and see what, what can the genes do for us. This would give us a loan at minus 50% or minus 0.5% interest. Okay. We take a loan. That would get their influence up. If we can get their influence up to 40, we could hit this button. Let's hit that button. You know what? Let's take that loan. We got we got buttons to press here. We got buttons to press here. This just gives us a base tax. Increases their influence by 15%. Or uh, 15 Gives us a base tax in, and also reduces the development cost in a horror. Oh. Take a free base tax there, why not? Now we can hit this. The cool thing about this is it lowers corruption by two. Well, guess what? We don't have any corruption yet. We could debase currency. I don't think we've ever hit this button before. This is basically like taking out a loan. So here you take out a loan and pay interest. Here we can get essentially a loan's worth of money for 2% corruption. The interesting thing is we just read over here that the Jains are willing to investigate corruption and remove it. So let's just do that. Now we have enough loyalty that we could come in and ask for diplomatic support. There we go. Boom, bada, bing. We've hit some buttons. we got a 10% construction cost reduction. Hey, things are looking good. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to keep up the Rajputs and the Amirs. I don't know if that's even uh, like possible, if we can keep both of these people happy. I do not know. We could look for an area, a high development province, we potentially give to... Like, something with a lot of base tax, right? Because if it has a lot of base tax, it might be good for these guys. The Brahmins. Or kind of like our clergy. This is kind of like our clergy too. In fact, what's the difference here? What's the difference between these? It's kind of exploring. So it reduces the local tax modifier. It's additional institution spread here. It also reduces the local tax modifier. But we get a but we get a positive tax we get a positive ten percent tax modifier on top of that, plus the missionary strength.
And we kind of want them both to be happy. If we can swing it. I don't know, when I look at this, I just feel like the... Olima are just going to be better for us. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I think I think we end up giving more land to these guys. There's some cool things with the radish boots. We can get some like the thing with them is we can get some really powerful troops. We can get some really powerful troops. You know, let's let's convert some land. I, you know, I was thinking about clicking a bunch of buttons there, but I'm just not seeing the benefit. I'm not seeing the benefit. Let's convert some land and then we'll figure it out. We actually have enough to pay for some of these guys. And we do need to, because our leader is so terrible, we do need to... Uh... We need to get these guys on the battlefield is what we need to do. My understanding is just having them assigned increases the chance that they can die. So that's what we want to do. Get some more morale. Trade income could be good. That might pay for itself. I bet you if we could get a tax guy, that'd be fantastic. Or even a production guy would probably be pretty good. We can hold on the Diplo, I think, for now. Let's let this run. We are building. We have a reason to go to war here. And we were thinking about doing that, weren't we? We are thinking about doing that. We have this loan that we don't need, so we could repay this. We lose a little bit of money, but remember, we got those guys really high influence, and we got to uh, get this, the 80 ducats from there. So it ended up being a net gain, for sure. I don't think there's any reason not to pay for this guy, too. We can build buildings, but we don't have the technology to build any good buildings. So that's kind of pointless. We can spend our money instead to build more troops. But we have no manpower. We could actually get some mercs on deck. Mercs are going to cost us half a ducat a month. How many of these could we afford? Ooh, that's, going to be, that's not going to be cheap. Let's get some mercs. We have... You know, let's just merc up. We have no manpower, let's just get the mercs. No manpower. We're getting mercs is going to be very good. Very good for us. Gonna be twenty thousand troops, two stacks of ten. That'd be nice. We should start building up flames. We also need to tell our vassal, yo, start getting some claims on these guys. So let's go into the diplomacy here, where we can go to our own diplomacy. Hit this button to go back to our own diplomacy. We go to show diplomatic feedback tab, and here we could say we want this, this, we want all this stuff. So that's going to tell our vassal here, hey, we want this stuff. So we'll hopefully, hopefully, we can check out their personality. They're militaristic. Or their person, you know, this leader's a, a militarist. So hopefully they are going to be wanting to get claims on these. That'll be good. We have uh, an alliance with these guys, don't we? We secure the alliance with, yes, we did. We don't need to be buttering them up anymore. And Gaul, we might want to ally these guys in the future, but for now, let's, um, Miwar is attacking these dudes. Hmm. Interesting. These guys are literally only allied to little one province miners next to each other. So let's uh, let's get some claims going here. Because we don't have any claims on those guys, right? So we could we could work on those dudes. Bengal, we can work on you later. You actually like us? Yeah, you don't mind us. You don't mind us. Eight days. I think we attack here because yeah, they have no allies. Hopefully, we didn't wait too long to do this. So we have a reconquest war for this province here. Now we're probably going to take this stuff as we as we take this. So let's do it. Do it to it. 
No reason not to. Uh, these guys are upset with us, but these modifiers are so insignificant. Minus 2.5%. We're getting 20% here. So net, we're only losing. Yeah, no, don't care. Don't care at all. Here we have... Let's get our better, our air here. And our leader. This. Now this is not our good dude, but at least it's a 1-2. One 1-2, one it's better than nothing. Let's, uh, let's let it roll. They're moving around, which is good. Uh, you guys probably need to play kind of defensive, actually. I don't want them sneaking around for nothing. The other thing we need to do is we need to attack these guys who are allied. Yeah, they're allied with John Porter, so that's going to be the tricky part, right? We need to get into an alliance with these guys. The interesting thing is we could maybe pull them in from Nagore, but actually Nagore actually is allied to both uh, Miwar and John Are these guys not rival to each other? They should be. They're not. They didn't rival each other. Ooh, that's um, yikes. Yikes. How many favors do we have? Here? Three. Cool. Should be getting one every year. I don't know if it's possible to get more than one per year. So we have the siege leader there. That's good. Let's just up the speed. Everything seems to be progressing. Um, we could butter these guys up because they are they are our ally. We could also be working on getting claims. Oh no, we already have claims up on these guys. Yeah, we already have claims on them. We could work on getting claims up here. I don't know if that's where we ultimately want to go. These provinces are just utter junk. And they're Shia. One of them is. If we work on this. Ooh, Miwar is already off to the races, getting uh, fully annexing these guys. Yikes. Yikes. Attacking Miwar would be actually incredible. Would actually be incredible. If we can wrangle it somehow. But they're allied to... Oh no, they're just allied with a bunch of, a bunch of people. Just a ton of little people. There might be a moment. Let's get a claim on Miwar, because Miwar actually has gold here. It's the only gold province in India. So getting that would be monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. Let's send these guys on a trip. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake for us. Big, huge, cataclysmic mistake. We're done, though. Unless they can somehow re-siege this, we're, we're toast. Oh, that was a huge mistake. Because, see, we need this, right? That's what the war is about. Our war is to grab that province. We can't grab that province now. Yikes. This is event telling us. Unhappy, unhappiness among the pe peasantry. Oh, I, I, I'll i pay a little bit of money to save a stability. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, man. That is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. Our only hope is if these guys can de-siege that, which they might. Let's hear. Clear way. Clear way. Clear way. Play, go, go to sleep, dude. Just go to sleep. Don't engage. Do not engage. Do not engage. Dude. Now they're all with John Poor. That's funny. Dude, you need to de-siege that. You need to make something happen here, man. We'll give them a couple months. I'm not going to wait forever. We're building up claims here, so I'm, it's not the end of the world. No, 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 no. That's not cool, dude. There you go. Get, get moving. Get moving. Go back. See, I'm wondering if they can't get through. Is there a fort here that's preventing their movement? No, that's a capital fort. They can move through. Come on, dude. All you got to do is de-siege that. 
Everything's good. Here, go back to your land. Let's see if we can spook him out. Hey, don't go that way, dude. Don't go that way. Don't go that way either. Okay, we're, we're slowly but surely... <laughs> we're literally wrangling cattle right now. <laughs> we are literally guiding these people. They're locked in here. Okay, good. Keep moving. Yep, keep moving. Good, good. Good, good, good. Stay there. Stay there. Desiege that. Yes, good. Whew, we, they have to hold here for 30 days. Actually, let's make sure they don't do anything dumb. They know we're standing here. Hold. Hold. You buffoons. And they're, they're done, so. They're done, so. Well, that just means that we're going to get a juicier war on these guys, but we're not getting the border with Afghanistan that we so desperately wanted. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's get these claims here. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. <sighs> All the claims. Build a spy network here. Build a spy network here because these are the guys that we're actually going to get a border on. Not Afghanistan, which is what we thought we'd... Oh, they already they ended the war. Well, okay. All right, thanks, Multan. Thanks. Appreciate it. In fact, this guy's probably going to get gobbled up by Multan, too. We need John Poor to get into a war, but they're not likely to get into a war that they'd lose. We kind of need Bomb Manus. We, we actually need an alliance with one of these guys. Someone that's, like, on the outside that can really, you know... Make some plays. Let's butter up Vigi Agar. See where it goes. So it's too late. We can't get anything else out of this. Let's um well, we'll go back to Vigi Agar in a second. Let's end the war. Let's take what we can. Unfortunately, we're gonna be paying Diplo for this because we didn't have claims on this. A little bit of aggressive expansion that no one's gonna care about. A little bit of money. Oh man, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted, but now we still have the core over here, right? These are still now we have two cores that Multan has. So but we really wanted that board with Afghanistan. Now we're pinched. Now we're pinched. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. Guaranteed by Sind. Hmm. Yeah, these these guys right here are are gonna gobble up this bit here. Yep. Multan has got a good thing going right now. They got a good thing going. Nagor and Gujarat. Well, we're allied with Gujarat. Should we be drilling or should we be chilling? Let's drill. We have a good economy. We have a really good economy. I don't think we have to lower maintenance. We don't have to lower army maintenance. We're doing okay here. Converting provinces, aren't we? Should that have been finished sooner? Now here's the question. If we pull back... This is our first... Okay, okay. This is interesting, guys. Let's, uh, let's take a pause in the episode, then we can talk a little bit about our religious situation here, because this event um, kind of explains a little bit of how the Sunni, Sunni religion works. So, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning into another episode. I will see you guys in the next one.